I recently uploaded a video on how we can make use of VCA faders within Studio One 3. And this allows us to have one single fader that will control the levels of a group of faders that are assigned to it. Uh, and in that video, I mentioned using groups, and I showed a brief example of uh, the differences between the two. In this video, I'd like to take a deeper look at using groups within the console. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Now, in this song, I've got several drum tracks that are separated out on different audio channels. I've got a kick, snare, shaker, and hi-hat. And if I F3 and bring up the console, we can see that those are represented here. And so if we apply the group function to these drum tracks, this is going to give us control over the fatal faders and several other parameters here uh, where we can just adjust that parameter on one and it will affect all others. So how do we apply the group? We can just select, I'll select this kick here, hold down shift, select the hi-hat, and then we can right click and group those selected tracks. And you can see that we have this icon here, which will show the channels that are in this group. And what are the features that are grouped together when we uh, create these groups? Well, first of all, we have the fader control here. Our mute, solo, record arm, monitor, I'm sorry, this is record arm and monitor. The panning will not be uh, grouped. And lastly, our track color will be grouped. So then if I go ahead and play back our track here, we can see then that I can control all of the drum channels at once and then their relative levels are going to remain the same here. If I, if I wanted to temporarily suspend this grouping, all that I need to do is hold down Alt and then click and then I can adjust this parameter, the fader, uh, for this one discrete channel here. And the same is going to apply for our solo and mute and those other linked features. We just need to hold down Alt and then uh, temporarily uh, we can adjust those parameters independently of all the other ones. Now if we'd like to dissolve our group at any time, all we need to do is right click and dissolve the group and the function returns back to its normal behavior. One limitation that I'd like to mention to this feature is if I come to another track or another song that I have open here, if we have a VST instrument where we've created extra outputs, so I have got an impact here and the channels are separated out so I've got the one impact here in our instruments, but I've created separate channels to send out the different drums that I'm using to different channels here within the console. And this is going to apply to any third-party VST uh, instruments also. If you separate out audio outputs from those uh, devices, you cannot combine those in a group. So if I select this first drum here and then come over to snare 2 hold down shift and select all of those and then right click you can see that we don't have the option to group these so in this situation if you'd like to uh, apply a group to these you really need to um, explode those if I open up this in the editor we can see that this is the MIDI programming for all of the different uh, drum sounds. You'd need to explode these out to uh, discrete tracks and then bounce those down, down to audio channels and then in that way you can add those to a group. And I will put up a video shortly on how we can explode our pitches to tracks. 
And so that is working with groups within Studio One Three.